Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's RC Corner and we got the Gotta Run It series and uh, one I've had in my collection for a while now but don't really you see much on the channel and we got the crawler course starting to be built and uh, it's just going to be extra good to run these type of RCs. This this one will get a lot more run time in my collection. This is the uh, Hobby Plus CR18 and uh, it's a great little truck comes with one of these hobby porter radios and uh, they're really easy to bind um, but uh, it's just gonna be a little uh, test uh, sorry if there's any wind noise it is extremely windy we're here at the end of November and uh, a beautiful beautiful day kind of in the shade here now but you can see over there it's sunny um, uh, it's just been real nice and warm and this truck just goes beautifully on a new crawler course as you can see and I made some changes to the course and uh, it's my first time driving it like this this one should be running straight down whoop, on that board oh no might have to put some netting up on some of these places and uh, certainly helps to be standing at the right angle at some times This thing will keep on changing and evolving. And uh, as I see fit, where things need to improve in order to make the course run smoother. You still want the challenge, but you don't want it to be ridiculously hard. But as you see here, this thing is handling. Now, um, just tell you a bit about what's gone on here. Uh, the leaves have already fallen off the trees, you can see. And we've already had a massive snowstorm here, but not quite massive compared to our neighbors to the south. As I'm in that area and, and I'm between Toronto and Buffalo, USA, New York State, and south of Buffalo, where the Bills play, like at Orchard Park, they got six and a half feet of snow over a course of three days from like starting like on a Thursday. And it went into like Sunday. They had to move the actual football game to Detroit because there's just too much snow and they couldn't remove it in time, especially in the stands for the people to sit. And I don't think anyone could have got there anyways on the roads. But uh, we got ourselves about 14 inches of snow. So it was quite a crazy Saturday here. And it's really packed everything down. Everything's still soaking wet as the water from the melting has saturated the ground. Hope you guys can see that. It's just cool little stuff here. This truck does so well on this course. Uh, I've kind of built it more in uh, to handle all sizes. Uh, my SCX is need to be tested more on here but I have done some of my 124 scale RGTs and they seem to work pretty good you just gotta pick the right line in some spots but as you see it can breeze up go over here I need to get a better angle to view so I hope you guys are getting a, a chance to RC I mean it was only a couple days ago this thing was full of snow took about three four days of uh, above freezing weather to get rid of all that snow that fell and a uh, real enjoyable day today hang up some Christmas lights and uh, the kids like dad are you going to charge and go drive some RC's and I thought well this is a great chance and I can do some videos on top of that this is a great looking truck and I really enjoy this one um, this one and if you follow the channel, you know that I have the 24 scale. It's the uh, Wrangler Jeep style. And I really enjoyed that truck, but it breaks so easy. The drivetrain on it just keeps breaking on it way too easily. And uh, this one is so much better, so much more durable. And uh, I pretty much retired the blue Wrangler 124 scale. Uh, when you got a 20, uh, two SCX 24s and the RGT Adventure 2 that's much more durable than the Hobby Plus one. 
Um, just not gonna bother sinking money and to keep it going and where the other ones uh, work so well and perform better. So, but this one on the other hand, the 18 scale, this was a lot of fun and it works great. It's got those LED lights, it's really cool. But guys, I'm gonna end it. Great little truck. I know it's a little older. Maybe you see them online used maybe on eBay or something, or you can get them on some discounts on uh, AliExpress or something, because these are a little bit older and it's probably start blowing their stock out. I know you can get parts on Asia Tees and there's still lots of other places you can get parts for these, no problem. I would probably say most things you can change around like the shocks or whatever even probably the drive shafts you can get from other brands but they do still have the hobby plus ones if you want the direct fit and maybe even some upgrade parts i haven't really checked in a while and you lose track of those things when you got so many other rcs coming through the channel here but guys i hope you appreciate this and hope you guys are having fun get out on rc when you get a chance hope you uh, like the crawler course and uh Sorry, got about six, seven hours into this and I'm scouring YouTube and Facebook and all other areas, um, even on uh, Pinterest, oh, don't shoot me, uh, looking at crawler courses and getting ideas. I'm acquiring uh, more stuff. I got some stuff over there, some PVC piping and some cabling and I uh, gotta have rocks and logs and old tires put in the ground we're gonna have a crawler type section not only just uh, going up through these uh, wooden courses so guys thanks again for tuning in this again and i hope everyone's doing well take care peace out we'll see you soon on the next one all right